I didn't know my dad that well growing up. And my mom, who was an alcoholic, passed away when I was young. So when Francesca Brooke and I first moved to Los Angeles almost 10 years ago, I came here for one thing, to find what was missing my whole life, love. I dated growing up, but... Ross. It wasn't until I met Lilla that my instincts kicked in. So? And told me... Tonight is the big night, I hear. I could really love someone. You and Joanna's very first date. Hmm. Ross, I have to talk to you about something. I'm not proud of this. But when you and I were together, I cheated on you. Uh, honestly, Lilla, I don't care. Ross, I just got the test results back yesterday. I'm HIV positive. You should probably get tested. <laughs> I'm not HIV positive. I'm not HIV positive. Oh, I did cheat on you, though. A lot. But that's okay, right? Because you deserved it. Oh, shit. Forgot to tell you at the beginning of this conversation, I'm gonna need those Liddell profiles finished in about five minutes. And those five minutes are almost up. So, good luck. Okay, I don't know what this is. It's from China and apparently there's a snake fermenting in it. You want me to drink something that a snake has been dissolving away into? Well, apparently it's supposed to waken the snake inside of you and heighten your instincts. I am good being instinct less than. <sighs> Take it out. Take it out, Vaughn. Lube up your hand with my lip gloss, reach inside her butt and pull out the kryptonite stick that is killing all of her abilities to have any fun. I can't live with her if she's gonna act like this. I'm gonna kill myself. If you do not take that shot. Oh, okay, fine, 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 good. fine. I will drink it. Yes, good girl. There you go. There you go. One for me. <sighs> to new friends, a new city, and no husband. I have only emptiness to be lost. You have nothing to lose. Cheers. All right. <coughs> it's definitely a snake. All right. You have been awakened. Now let's get back to date stalking. Oh, they look like they're having fun. Really? Watching them makes me want to do this again. And this. Oh, hi guys. Hi. Hey. Um, hey Vaughn, um, I wanted to talk to you. Can you make some time tomorrow? Yeah, sure. Hey, try this, it's made of snakes. No, thanks. Mm -hmm. Just, Just water. water. Dudes, I know I fought really hard for my new job but I don't want to start yet because I just realized that I can go do things out in the world on my unemployed weekdays instead of just jerking off on the couch. What? I mean jerking off on my bed. I went on a downtown architecture tour, I went hiking, and I think I discovered a rare nest of snakes with my hypernoculars. Do you remember where they were? Because I know a way we can make a lot of money. She's doing her thing. She's doing her thing. She's oh, catching up. She's catching up. We can open a bar and call it Sluts and Bladders. Joanna, stop. Oh. Stop. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. It's just this this thing I do. It's, oh, it's my thing. <laughs> God, I wish having an amazing strut or Michelle Obama arms was my thing. Well, just tell me what you need. Is this because I asked you on a second date? Or maybe we need a name of the snake theme, though. No. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, listen, what's happening to my body is like no reflection of, of how I feel about you. I mean, I'm gonna be completely honest, these feelings, they're all new, and, and they're good feelings. I like them. Well, not, not all of them. <laughs> but I'm enjoying going on this date with you. So let's have another one. I'm sorry, I just... I gotta... <sighs> oh! <sighs> Obviously, the situation is bringing up a lot of feelings. So let me get back to you about another date at a later date. Oh. 
whatever you need. Thanks. How about sluts and bladders? No, they'll never love you like I do. Hello, Francesca. Oh, How hi. are you? How are you? Good. <laughs> Who is that? Hi, I'm Clarissa, Francesca's new assistant. We spoke on the phone. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. Um, anyway, okay, you can get your prenatal uh, paternity test as early as the ninth week. Perfect. I'm in the ninth week. Let's yeah. get going. That's right. So we're going to do your test today, and then we are going to set up appointments for the potential fathers later this week, preferably separate times, huh? Yeah. Let's get Sherlock Holmes in this baby. <laughs> <laughs> Silly. <laughs> oh. Okay, so anyway, let's go see Nurse Agawa. Go forth. Yeah. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I got distracted by the. Have you guys been to that lamp installation at LACMA? No. It's awesome, but I think you're supposed to go at night because apparently, at nighttime is the most magical place ever. Do you guys want to go sometime? Not unless one of those lamp posts is going in my vagina. Oh, don't act like you don't love the things that come out of my mouth. I really do not understand why so many men are attracted to you. I can't offer any advice, apparently, because I understand nothing about women. The girl I like drenched herself in water on our first date, and my ex-girlfriend is so evil that no awful thing she says, for no good reason, surprises me. I am so, so sorry, and that is why I baked you cookies. Oh. I'm gonna go drop these out the window on pedestrians. Karen, I spent a long time on those cookies. And I spent a lot of time waiting for this moment to happen. So, any word from Aqua Girl yet? Well, she hasn't decided on her second date. Well, I've decided to stop stressing about things that haven't happened yet. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. Just focus on the present, what's happening, right? Now. Yes, very zen. Hello, boys. <laughs> Finished. Ross, enjoy the last minute of your extremely short lunch break. Oh, look, a new email from Lilla Black. Document of reasons why I hate Ross. Number one, he will never understand women for the rest of his life, even if he goes back to college to major in women's studies. He would get straight F's and lose his student loans and die. Number two, he asks too many questions. What's wrong with that? <sighs> Number three, one time after sex, he burst into tears and yelled, I miss my mommy. <laughs> That's... Number four, everything. You know what? I don't care what she does anymore. The only thing that matters to me is what Joanna thinks. Yes, sir. Uh, I got the email, too. She sent it to everyone. Don't jump! Go. No, jump! Don't don't jump! Go. I mean, don't jump! Look, I'll stay here on watch. If I see Joanna, I'll make a special sound. What's a special sound? Like a bird call. Cuckoo! Hello, dear. Ross! Oh. What are you doing? Nothing. You didn't hear a bird sound or anything, did you? No. I, I was just uh, trying to leave a, a cute note on your computer, but I... I, I uh, it's all right. I read the email. You know what? I don't, I don't care. I don't care that you read that stupid email, okay? None of it, some of it, wasn't true. I'm just concerned because I don't want anything to influence this very sensitive time of decision. And I don't want you to think that this ongoing feud that I have with Lilla means that I care about her at all anymore, because I don't. And I don't want you to read that email and think that just because I dated her that I'm anything like her. 
or that that's the kind of girl that I go for. Ross, I don't know what you're talking about. What do you know? <laughs> I want to let you get back to work. Sorry, I don't really know how to interact with girlfriends because until now I've spent every last minute of my life with either a boyfriend or my husband. So... I'm just going to wait for you to say something. I've never had girlfriends either. Or a boyfriend. Or a husband. <laughs> okay. You win. What if there's a reason that I've never had friends or someone to date. I mean, aside from like my orphan Annie-esque past or the fact that I'm like really awesome like Rogue from X-Men. No, oh, no. I mean, what if there's something wrong with me? What would be wrong with you? It's silly. It's, um, you know, I just feel like I have nothing to offer. But you, you, you look like someone who has their shit together. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've had a marriage. Had. Had. You're a homeowner. Yeah, of a house that I can't live in. Okay, you do win. <laughs> yeah, this isn't really a very fun game. <laughs> Can we play something else? Sure. Okay. Hi, Muffin. I just wanted to let you know that we just got an email from China. They're gonna need all of their finished portfolios tonight. So it looks like you're gonna be staying late. And unfortunately, I did not orchestrate this. This is just my dumb luck. <laughs> you know what? I'll stay. I'll stay, I'll stay and finish it. I'm sorry. No. I will finish my work myself because it is my work, right? I don't want your help. I don't want anything from you, Lilla. As a matter of fact, it would be very nice if I could have nothing else to do with you. Okay. Okay. Well, my offer's there, you know, if you want it. And do not think just because your mother died before you got a chance to stop hating her that you get to take it out on everybody else. You know, I often tell myself that I have no clue about women. And that was true. I mean, I dated someone who takes the secrets of someone they loved and uses it against them. But I don't think I'm clueless anymore. And I hope you learn to change too. I told you that I didn't go for girls like Lilla, but I didn't finish my thought. I go for girls like you, because girls like you got everything. <laughs> you really do got everything. Hi. Hi. Do you think you can make some time next week to come to the doctor with me? Of course. Wait, is there something wrong with the baby? It's for a paternity test. Yeah. Wait, wait. We can do that already? Even when the baby's all micro? Yep. Yeah, of course. Anyway, I was just passing by. Wait, you want to stay? For what? I don't know. Just to stay. Just because we don't have feelings for each other anymore doesn't mean we have to be really awkward semi-friends. What are on the rocks? Coming right up.
Go home. No, I'm going to stay just a little later to finish this. Don't worry, I'll lock up. Go. Ross, you work so hard. One day, you are going to get your big payoff. <laughs> I thought you could use some company. Oh, I'd love that. Thank you. You know, this could even be a second date if we add some food. <laughs> Something inside of me has always told me that happiness rests in one place. My favorite. <laughs> with another person. I remember the first time that I laid my eyes on but, for some reason, I never believed what my gut was telling me. Maybe it's time to start listening, to start putting aside what I think I know. And learn to trust my instincts.